Uh, the Olympic Court is really only going to be fine. The number of victims is the word is over the next uh, several days a week. And I'm going to start today. President Biden has hit the ground running, issuing many executive orders in his first days in office. The first one is the economic relief related to COVID-19 pandemic. I'll be signing an executive order in just a moment, tightening the existing Buy American policies and go further. The second one is protection, protecting the federal workforce. Transgender personnel, if qualified in every other way, can serve the government in the United States military. Many of these orders have essentially undone executive orders issued by the previous president. Many of the things that uh, Joe Biden signed today are pure reversals of executive actions that Donald Trump took. So think about it as the pendulum swinging, the flip of a switch. In his first seven days in office, President Biden issued 19 executive orders. By comparison, in his first week in office, President Trump issued four, President Obama issued five, and President George W. Bush issued none in his first week. These orders do carry the force of law, but they're not actually laws. Using executive orders has become a useful tool for making immediate progress in the face of congressional gridlock. 10 months ago in Paris, I said before the world that we needed a strong global agreement to reduce carbon pollution and to set the world on a low carbon course. The result was the Paris Agreement. But the relative ease of issuing executive orders means they are just as quickly reversed. I withdrew the United States from the terrible one-sided Paris Climate Accord was a total disaster for our country. An executive order may only last as long as the president's term.